broom. We're giving you a hand brush too with this one. And really, it's different because this is a rubber broom. And if you've never used rubber, wait till you see the demonstrations on just how effective it is, oh. especially at pesky pet, pet hair, really fine fibers yeah, it gets. Yeah, you know, I've got two dogs and a cat. They never shed at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and rubber hair salons all over the world have been using rubber brooms for about 40 years. Really? Okay, now what we've done a little different is we've angled the head, and I'll show you that in a little bit. There's a squeegee on the back side of the broom. When I first brought the broom here 17 years ago, we didn't have these extra wide flaps on the back. We do now for getting the really fine stuff. If you've got a pet, this is worth its weight in gold, this little pet brush. We're going to show you all of this. So let's start down here in the hardwood. Okay. I've got a whole house full of hardwood and then a few area rugs. So to break out the vacuum, that's one thing, if you're going to do the whole house. But here, I'm only going to go over this uh, small area here just to show you something. There's a ton of hair. It's almost hard to see this, this blonde hair. This is mm -hmm. from a golden reliever, by the way. <laughs> okay. Now, when you sweep, there's 500 rubber fingers Ooh. on the broom. What happens here is all these rubber tips, they come together. The dirt can't get through it. And just to be sure, the wide flaps on the back, these act like a dry squeegee. Bakeries use this for flour, salt, sugar. Here's the thing. You stick this in a mud puddle, you rinse it with water, it's clean. Mm. Okay, you can't do that with a straw or a nylon right. broom. This is easily clean. That's why restaurants love them. So let me show you where you're really going to love this. Now, I said I have hardwood floors, but I do have a bunch of area rugs, and the dogs always lie down, and, and our famous entryway mats get a lot of hair on it, too. This is an oriental type rug right here. I've got a ton of pet hair. I've got food crumbs mixed in here. Now here's the only difference. When, when you sweep a floor, you sweep. On a carpet, what you want to do here is brush. You see how it starts to gather up that hair, the fur, wow. the, the, whatever it is. Now this could be indoor, outdoor, commercial, Berber, oriental rugs. What the rubber does is it grips the hair. If you've ever done this when your vacuum wouldn't get the hair up, mm -hmm. see how that works? <laughs> That's rubber, okay? That's exactly what the broom is. Again, 40 years, hair salons have used these, restaurants, hotels, all over the world. Now, we, you know, we've been bringing it to QVC for 17 years. You can't wear them out. Again, if it gets dirty, if you want to, you can just unscrew the head, put it right in your sink and rinse it with water outside, hit it with a, a garden hose, easily clean. Now, let me show you the pet brush really quick. Okay. You saw how I got the hair off the rug. Now, if you've got pets, <laughs> this might look familiar. Oh, John, don't do I that. I know. This is, oh. this is the worst thing I do here at QVC, getting hair all over me. Now, the rubber finger, if you have one of those tape rollers, Pretty soon you got it, you're running out of tape. What the rubber does here is it breaks the static charge that the hair has with your clothes. Mm. Now, I tell you, before you get that much hair on you, guess what? Use it on your pets. It's really soft. I use it on my boxer, he loves it. Now, if you have a carpeted staircase, this comes to a point, this is gonna get you in those little corners, your car seats, your furniture. Okay, let's do the real challenge here. Okay. I've got a broken glass over here. It's, it's in 10,000 little shards all over. Even the little shards that get into the grout lines. If you swept with a straw or nylon broom, you, you still wouldn't walk across that with bare feet. What I'm gonna do next is gonna prove to you how well this works. The 500 rubber fingers, I'm gonna sweep this side once, and then I'm gonna sweep this side once. Now I'm gonna go over this with my hand just to prove something. I do the, I've done this 10,000 times on QVC. Even in the grout lines, there's never a sliver of glass perfectly clean, one swipe, right down into the grout lines, all the glass, of course, sweep it into a dustpan. Now, this is the only broom, I'll switch spots with you here. Okay. This is the only broom that you can use, not just to sweep, you can scrub with this. So wet or dry? Yeah, if you've got a little grease on your garage floor, use this with the degreaser. Chemicals can't hurt the rubber head. It's great for getting in the cracks, the crevices, the corners. Now, scrub your deck if you have mold or mildew. Use a deck cleaner. When you're done, every one of these brooms has a built-in squeegee. Flip it over, push the dirty water right out the garage door. This winter, this is the only thing you're going to put on your car to get the snow off. Can't scratch. Can't scratch. Okay? So, so simple and easy to use. Can't wear them out wet or dry. Now, what you're standing on is, oh, yeah. I have Ooh. area rugs like this. Now, how many people <laughs> you, have a nylon or a straw a broom? Mess. Does your broom look like this, a little curled up, because you leave it in the corner like this? Mm -hmm. Here, do okay. me a favor. Give this, go straight down the middle here. Give it a test drive, and you really, really oh, try. Oh, come on. I know, right? Uh, really? <laughs> the right tool for the right job. Even if I, uh, <laughs> mm, pushing it down. 
I'm okay. thinking it. Okay, yeah, right, that really worked. Up. Okay. Now, I'm going to go over the same area. I'm, I'll only take a couple of brush strokes here. Look at the difference. The rubber nice. grips where the straw slips. So, again, you're not going to use this for wall to wall carpeting, but for a hallway rug, an entryway carpet, mm -hmm. maybe where the dog lies down in the same mm -hmm. area. This is the best broom. Again, 17 years I've been demonstrating this broom on QVC. We've gone through over a million of them here for the customers that have picked them up. Best thing for hair. The, one more thing. Yes. Here, back here on, on, on Oh, a, yes. Well, okay. I'm going to claim this. Now, here's right. what, I, what I mean. These tape rollers, they're okay. They will pick up some hair, but then you got to find where you peel it. And you then know? I'm always, and every time I peel, oh, right. more than one layer comes <laughs> exactly. off. Exactly. It ends up being a big waste, and so, it's frustrating. Here's what you do. What I do, I always just brush it right off. You can brush it into a pile if you want, or right into your hand. Here, let's just brush it on the floor, and I'll yeah, sweep it off the yeah. floor. Uh, again, before you get that much hair on your furniture or your clothes, use it on your pet. Look how soft this is. A wire brush rips their hair out. This, I've even shampooed my dog with this. It's like a little massage. They love it. Oh, that is soft. Yeah, isn't it? I don't really like that. And I notice, is, does this uh, collapse? Yeah, it handle? does. Okay. If you want to do windows, take the handle apart, wash, scrub, squeegee your windows. Very cool. Anybody have a bed liner in the truck? Look how well this gets in between those little grooves. Outside on your deck or your patio. Yeah, oh, awesome. Because you're going to get the broom and then you're going to get the hand brush both for $19.62. Your item number is V32052. Get the set home today. John, thanks so much. Thanks, <laughs>